Okay, case number four. Case number four is a 42-year-old female who is uh, a uh, patient uh, that was involved uh, about five days ago in a multi-system trauma, was ejected uh, from a vehicle that rolled a high rate of speed. Uh, patient uh, was uh, initially taken and presented to the trauma, uh, presented to a, a smaller a level three trauma facility. Uh, at that time, she was intubated and placed on appropriate ventilator uh, settings. Was taken to the um, operating theater, uh, where a hepatic and splenic uh, laceration uh, was repaired, uh, apparently with success. Um, however, um, during the patient's stay in the ICU, um, noticed uh, that her um, arterial blood gases indicated um, a refractory hypoxemia, in spite of um, FiO2 being increased, and in spite of high levels of PEEP. Um, you currently find the patient um, supine in the ICU bed at the sending facility. Uh, they are requesting that you uh, transport a patient to a uh, larger uh, level 1 trauma facility uh, for uh, care and pulmono pulmonology services unavailable at the sending facility. Uh, you go ahead and note the following settings. An FiO2 of 100%, patient is um, only saturating at 85%, PEEP of 10, respiratory rate of 15, a patient is taking no spontaneous breaths at this time. Mode is assist control. You see a tidal volume of 600, uh, which is an appropriate uh, volume uh, based on a uh, patient's ideal body weight. Uh, I want to go ahead and just notice that you do uh, note a uh, elevated peak pressure in the 60s. Uh, also, a special note: if you could uh, take a look at the uh, pressure or the volume pressure uh, loop, you notice a. Um, pattern on there, a distinctive a duck bill pattern on that loop. Uh, this is going to be clinically significant for a certain problem. You go ahead and decide to close out your loops. You notice that your peak pressure is elevated. At this time you will uh, initiate an inspiratory hold. Init uh, you'll wait and the hold will be initiated on the next breath. Initiate the uh, inspiratory hold, and you notice a plateau pressure of 58. So both the plateau pressure and peak pressure are elevated. Uh, these are both clinically significant. If you guys want to take a couple of minutes to talk about what you think may be going on with this patient and uh, things that we can do to treat her. Thank you.